Jeremy Fletcher uses his phone to take pictures of the countryside, even in his lunch hour. But it was while he was taking an evening stroll on the seashore at Snettersham in Norfolk that he noticed a godlike figure staring back at him from the clouds. Divine proof, maybe? After the first two or three, I, I looked at what I had on my phone and I couldn't believe the image that was on there. It was so clearly a face in the sky looking straight back at me. Everything that I command you, you shall be careful to do. You shall not add to it or take from it. And as the Lord took delight in doing you good and multiplying you, so the Lord will take delight in bringing ruin upon you and destroying you. And you shall be plucked off the land that you are entering to take possession of. Because they have forsaken my law that I set before them, and have not obeyed my voice or walked in accord with it, but have stubbornly followed their own hearts, and have gone after the Baals as their fathers taught them, and went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they had not known, and whom he had not allotted to them. Therefore the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land, bringing upon it all the curses written in this book. Therefore the Lord declares, the Lord I say unto thee this day, and I say that I, the loving God, have intended that the ones who are forgiven by me would be loving me. That is, that they would be thankful that it is me, the loving God, who has redeemed them from the penalty of their sins, which was held when they repented unto me. And I say it is me, the loving God, who has given them forgiveness, given them mercy, and guided them in my way. And I say it has been my expectation that the ones who have known my mercy would be loving me. That is, that they would be serving me in the attitude of gratitude, grateful and thankful for repentance, revolution in their lives. That they would be coming forth ever uplifted, directed, and guided in the blessedness, the truth, the light that I offer each and every day. For I say, when a people will realize how much mercy I've given unto them, and where they were headed without the same, I say that it is my expectation that they would be loving me. That is, that they would love me enough to serve me, that they would love me enough to continue in repentance, revolution, each day of their lives. That they would indeed be coming forth, knowing that it is me they are privileged to love, to serve, to obey, and follow after. For I say, when a people will truly realize the importance of forgiveness, mercy, and what it is to truly repent, then I say, they cannot help but love me. For I say, it is me, the living God, and me alone, who is able to forgive them of sin. Now I say, this day that you are living in times when multitudes who claim that they are my people do not love me at all. But I say, they are selfishly using my name in vain, all for their own gain. And I say, they are living in conjecture and imagination. They have built the God of their own invention, and they love it so. And I say, all the while they claim they love me, they claim they serve me, but it absolutely is not true. For I say, they are not willing to lay their lives down, they are not willing to suffer for my name, and they are not willing to truly follow me. But I say, they are following crafty invention, I say, they are following cleverly devised tales, and I say they are following their own self-interest in it all. For I say it is not me that they are loving to serve, it is not me that they appreciate, because they do not know me as I am. But I say because they've never genuinely repented unto me, I say they serve an imitation God. Now I say this day that I the living God am at this time calling for all men, all women, to repent, that they would indeed see the error of their way and turn from the same. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who are mine to walk uprightly in me each day, ever loving me. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who should serve me to do so in respect and honoring me as their maker, their God. And I say that I'm calling for the ones who will seek to please me, to be ever kept in me. Now I say this day, if you really consider what a privilege it is to love, to serve, to obey me, and be brought forth by me, then I say, give me thanks and praise. That is, be ever thankful that I will direct thee, correct thee, and guide thee forth. And I say, be ever thankful that I will give unto thee the light upon the path, 
the truth, the hope, and the mercy each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness, the way of truth, and the way that is mercy revealed. And I say when it is me that you keep your focus, your vision upon, it is me who will guide, direct, and instruct thee day by day. And it is me who will give unto thee the way of my life, the way of my truth, and the way of my mercy. And it is me, the living God, who will show thee that indeed I am well able as you continue trusting, hoping, and looking to me. For I say, when you serve me in gratitude, when you serve me in love, because I have redeemed you from hell, and you realize what it is that I've done for your soul, I say, then you are found ever agreeable unto me. For I say, you are not looking for your own way, you are not looking for your own purpose, nor your own plan. But I say you are looking for the way that I offer and provide the way of eternal life. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called men to walk afar off from me, to go a-whoring from me all to their own despair. That is, by loving other gods, other lovers more than me, and being found far from my way. But I say it is me, the living God, who is giving forth the call for men to truly repent and be found abiding in me. For I say, when any man or woman will know what it is to experience and live in repentance revolution, then I say that they will truly love me. For I say, they will know of a surety that they were damned headed to hell, and it was my merciful intervention that saved them from the same. And I say, they will know through deep repentance what it is to see the wretchedness, the ugliness of their own way. Then to cry out for mercy and receive the same of me, the one true God who is able to show goodness unto men. And they will know, understand, and realize that it is through me that they are uplifted, guided, and brought forth in my way. And I say they will know, understand, and realize that it is through me that they are given the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy day by day. Now I say, therefore, this day be glad that it is me, the living God, who does give to my own the way of truth and light, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. And I say, when any people will cleave to me, then they will indeed receive of me. That is, they will be receiving of the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. And I say, they will be directed, corrected, and ever guided in me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, the way of all truth, and the way that is mercy provided. And I say when a people are trusting themselves to me because it is me that they love, they will never be left disappointed. For I say it is me, the living God, who knows exactly what it is that my people need, and yes, I give them the same. And I say it is my expectation that my people would return love unto me for my love poured forth. For I say it is me, the living God, who so loved humankind through the love of the Father, that I say that I poured forth my life unto death for them. That is, I lived, I died, and suffered acutely in the same, in order that men could be set free. That is, by believing upon me, repenting unto me, and walking uprightly in my way, that they could know what it was to be freed from the penalty of sin. I say, there is no other God that has been able to do that, only me. Therefore, I say, be faithful, be true, be loving me each and every day, be walking in my way. And I say, be living in repentance, revolution, because it is me you are meant to please. And I say, be coming forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the truth, the light, the strength that I give, because it is me that you serve. For I say it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods, who is able to show forth mercy and truth and light unto those who cleave to me. And I say when a people will be believing, of course they are receiving of what it is that I offer and provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who has intended that my own people would live in the love, would give the love, would be ever repentant unto me, because I have showed them mercy. And I say that I desire that my people would return the love that I've given for them unto me. That is, not loving the world and the vanities of the same, not loving themselves and demanding their way, but ever desiring my way. For I say it is me, the living God, who has given my life that men and women could be spared from the penalty of hell and their souls redeemed. Now I say if you consider 
what a privilege it is to repent unto me, to love me, to serve me, and obey me each and every day, then I say, be rejoicing in me. That is, be rejoicing that you are given the truth, the light, and the strength each and every day, for I am the one who is ever present to give to you the same. And I say, be thankful that I am the one who will purpose, direct, and guide thee forth, for it is me, the living God, who is the truth provided for those who cleave to me. And it is me, the living God, who will ever uplift, direct, correct, and guide forth the ones who are intended to love me. That is, by entering into and remaining in repentance, revolution, by walking in humility and serving with thanksgiving and gladness each and every day. For I say, when any man or woman will prove to be true, prove to be faithful, then I say, they are indeed well-pleasing unto me. And I say, when a man will be faithful in his service unto me, and a woman likewise, then I say, they are loving me. But I say, when you see the ones who are ever looking for their own self-interest and promoting who, who and what they think they are, I say, they are nothing but fools. For I say, they are centered upon self, they are loving themselves, and they are not loving me. Now I say, this day you are living in times when multitudes of those who are claiming that they are my people have no love for me. And I say, they are lacking in that love because they have never truly repented unto me. That is, they have not seen the horror of what they are and where they will end. And I say, they go on and pretend in a world of their own. But I say that it is me, the living God, who is calling men to square up to face their sins and repent fully unto me. For I say, if a man refuses to face his inward darkness, his iniquity, his sinful state in this life, I say he will be shown the same nonetheless. That is, when he stands before me and he's literally condemned to hell forever for his unrepented sin, then I say he will weep and howl and moan, but it will be too late for him. For I say that he rejected the call to repentance, revolution, he rejected the way of eternal life in order to live for himself. And I say when he sees that he's literally been destroyed by his own selfishness, by his own greed, his own lust, I say he will moan under the agony of the sin. But I say there will be no forgiveness for when he is found in hell, there is no way to escape from it all. Now I say this day that I, the living God, am at this time calling for all men, all women, to give themselves over unto me. That is, to fully repent and abandon themselves unto my way, serving me in love. That is, not looking for what it is that they can gain, but rather what it is that they can give unto me. That is, that they are willing to suffer to be identified with me and come forth in my way. Now I say it is me, the living God, who is ever present to give mercy, to give truth, to give light unto any and all that will love and serve me. And it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the people who will keep their vision ever upon me. That is, ever keeping themselves in the truth, the light, the strength that I give each and every day. And ever being thankful to be brought forth, ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad that it is me that you can continue to look to, that you can continue to believe, to trust, and obey. And I say, be thankful even now that I am, that I am God, the one who gives my mercy unto thee. And I say, be thankful that as you are guided, directed, and corrected in me, you are given the blessedness, the truth, and the light day by day. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way of righteousness revealed. It is me, the living God, who is the truth, the hope, the strength provided. And it is me, the living God, who guides thee forth in my way. Therefore, I say, be thankful that you are indeed given the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me each and every day. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to walk in the way of hard-headed, stubborn, proud fools. But I say that you can become forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided forth by me, the one true God who does care for thee. For I say, it is me, the living God, who has loved you enough to give my life in order to redeem you from hell and bring you forth. Therefore, I say, be serving each day in the attitude of gratitude in love poured forth unto me. That is, do not withhold yourself for some silly reason that will only damn your soul, but I say, abandon yourselves fully unto me. 
And I say, be thankful for the privilege of love to serve, to obey, and be guided forth in my way. That is the way of humility, the way of repentance, which is the way of eternal life. And I say, be thankful for the privilege to love you. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. You're commanded by God. You're commanded by God to repent. You're commanded by God.